At Realty Executives, our in-house, all-in-one platform was designed by agents for agents. With one login, you have 24-7 access to a full technology and marketing suite with tools that talk to each other so you can spend less time on back-end tasks and more time working with home buyers and sellers. Our customizable and user-friendly agent, broker, and team websites include reliable IDX property searches, listing alerts, and multiple lead capture points. Combining functionality with a modern interface, our CRM keeps you connected to past, present, and prospective clients. Our agents stay top of mind with the click of a button. At Realty Executives, we know consumers are always on the go. By using our integrated on-demand mobile solution, potential buyers will have access to listing details, including photos and virtual tours via voice or text. Immediately capture leads and begin interacting with interested buyers, all from your mobile device. Why spend hours creating flyers or paying a designer to create print collateral when you can download it with one click, free of charge? Our listing automation system pulls data directly from your MLS, generating over a dozen options for flyers and postcards. Looking for a sleek and elegant virtual tour? Our video automation allows you to customize a listing video and publish it to YouTube in less than three minutes. Extending the reach of your listing and increasing views has never been easier. Built in-house, our tools work together for a single, seamless experience, which means no third-party tools to mess up your day or drain your pockets. Ready to get on with your business? Realty Executives. Visit us today at realtyexecutives.com slash join us. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Bridget. I am the technical trainer here at Realty Executives in Jersey. And today we're going to be talking about prime agent email tools. I'm going to show you the free and paid versions of your prime agent email tools that you have. And hopefully some ways you can capture some leads by keeping in touch with your sphere by using your prime agent email tools. So let's jump in, shall we? So. We are first going to go to primeagent.com to log in. So if you want to follow along with the bouncing ball and open up a separate tab on your computer there, go to primeagent.com to log in. I see Diana and Judy are here. Hopefully they are going to log into Prime Agent with their, with their uh, realtyexecutives.com email address. And if you forgot your uh, password, just click on forgot password. You can easily reset that password. So, Diana likes my earrings. Yes, I'm going to be landing planes when I finish this webinar. So once we get to uh, Prime Agent and you put in your realtyexecutives.com email and your password, we're going to hit log in and log into our Prime Agent account. So we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping first before we get into those email tools. And the reason why we're going to go through the My Account tab, a couple of things there, is because at the bottom of your email is your email signature. You want to make sure that everything in your email signature looks just as it should. A photo of yourself, the correct office address, the correct links to your social media, your website if you have it, your phone number, which phone number do you want to be using? So let's go through a little bit of housekeeping here in the My Account tab real quick before we uh, get into those email tools. So we're going to go onto the My Account tab and down to My Profile. So here, first thing you want to do is to make sure you've got your first name, last name, uh, your title, designation if you want, your real estate license number, should you want to show it or not, you don't have to, your office address. Now, you want to make sure that that is also correct and updated. Uh, but on the up other side of the page, you've got four, one, two, three, four, I almost said three, but four places for a phone number now. Uh, your direct phone, your office phone, your mobile phone, you need to show one as your primary. Set one of them as your primary, whatever one it is that you want. You can choose to show them on your profile and if you pay for a prime agent website. Now, I will recommend that if you are going to be putting your uh, office phone number with your extension, don't click that show office number on profile website because it's kind of like the same thing if you're going to put your direct phone as your office with your extension in there. 
Um, though I know most of you do put your mobile phone in as well. Again, you can have some additional uh, phone numbers, um, voicemail, fax number if you have uh, your prime agent website, or perhaps you have a custom domain name, you know, janedoe.com, whatever it's going to be, you want to put that in that website box there. And of course, down below, any languages that you speak, always nice to check those off, and your business, not personal, business, social media URL links at the bottom there, your business Facebook page, your business YouTube account, your business Instagram, whatever business social media links you have there, that's what you want to put down at the bottom. And of course, your 750 character max short bio. That does appear on your Prime Agent paid website, should you have one. Um, uh, your longer bio is going to go into, well, why don't we go there, shall we? So let's hit update over here. I'm going to hit update and I'm going to make sure that everything saves up. Now, as I said, the next one down here, you can go into the My Bio and put your bio in there if you want. That will appear in your free, your free Prime Agent profile. It also appears on your paid Prime Agent website, but again, it will appear on your free Prime Agent profile. But also under the My Account tab, more important, we do need to put our photo. So you want to go to the My Photo and have your wonderful headshot in there. Now, if there's nothing here, you can certainly click on the gray box. And it will bring up another box where you can upload your headshot and easily crop and fit it into the box there. Now, of course, it, it does say that your uh, profile photo must be a JPG file. So if it's any other file format, it will not be accepted. It will not load. It will not fit, et cetera, et cetera. So do make sure that your photo is in JPG format. Okay, so also in the My Account tab, we're going to go down to connect my listings because in your emails that you send out here from Prime Agent, you can include your listings at the bottom of your email. That is an option. So it's always good to have everything connected. Not only that, but someone searching a property on the Realty Executive's website, when they find that property, your name is going to appear with it and not just your office name, but your name is going to appear there. And of course, you want your name to appear there, right? Yeah, I figured. So do make sure that you have your connections with your listings here. Now, I've got mine here. If you have nothing here, easy, set it and forget it. We're going to click on Find My ID. Now, if you have an active listing, you can leave everything just as is, your state, first name, last name, and click on the search bar. Uh, if you do not have any active listings, you can find by participant ID and listing source. Now, you want to choose. Uh, what source you belong to um, when you're a listing source, what MLS do you belong to, um, and then put in your participant ID, click that search button, and again, you can connect to your MLS. Now, if you belong to more than one MLS, you definitely want to make sure that you connect to every single one of them. Even if you tend to list on two, your same property on two MLSs at the same time, you never know what's going to pull first, so do make sure you connect to all of the MLSs that you do belong to. Okay, so housekeeping here is done in the My Account tab. We are now going to go over to our meat and potatoes for today, the CRM tab. And this is where we're going to find our paid and free features of our Prime Agent email tools. So free, built in for you, your contact manager. Your contact manager is built in to your CRM. Easy to add a contact. Click on the Add Contact button brings up a new window for you to put in all the information on the contact that you have. And there's a lot of boxes here to fill in. Do you have to fill in all of them? Absolutely not. Do fill in the important ones. You want a phone number, email, first name, last name. But if you have other information regarding this contact, especially if you decide that you want to pay for the campaigns and e-newsletters, you can put their birthday in here. You can put their anniversary date. And this is wedding anniversary date, not home purchase date. That's in the box below where you see their consumer info, home purchase date. We have campaigns, set it and forget it, that you can send out when there is a birthday. Set it and forget it that you can send out when they have a purchase anniversary as well. Great set it and forget it features that we have here. So if you know that information, do fill it in. You can set up a campaign for all of that. There's also a place for secondary contact information as well. You can add them to a group. I pause there for a reason. I'll go through that. More phone numbers, preferences of how the contact wants to be contacted. Um, hopefully it's all of it. Uh, any notes that you might have um, and reminders as well that you can add 
uh, to the contact. So when all of it's fill in, you have the add contact in the bottom right, same one on the left side column as well. They both work to save up your contact. So if we go back now, if you've got a uh, Excel file, you have all 5,000 contacts in your Excel file and you want to get them into your prime agent CRM, also easy to put them in as well. The one thing that I do caution you to is make sure that they are a CSV file, C not CVS, I'm not going to the drugstore, CSV file. I got you there, right? Mm -hmm. So how this works, we're going to go to the more because as you can see, there isn't an option that stands out there for us. So you have to click on more and then import export. And the import export is going to give you the place to put in that CSV. I know there's a bunch here. Choose the CSV, trust me. Import CSV file. And this is where you're gonna to want to put in those contacts. Now you might also see here, select group. I didn't get there yet, did I? Mm -hmm. All right. So. Let's go back to our contacts and let's go through creating a group. Why on earth do you want to create a group? Well, it's very easy. Another set it and forget it feature. Create a group for everyone who's going to get your newsletter. Create a group for everyone who's going to get that paid birthday campaign. Create a group for everyone who's going to get that paid home purchase anniversary campaign. Create a group for sending out your announcement that you're now with Realty Executives and you're going to send out that free broadcast. Create a group for everything best way to use this program is to create a group for everything. Can you send individually? You certainly can. But why send to one when you can send to multiple people? All right, let's do that then. I'm going to click on manage groups to get to that function. And now I am going to start paying for my e-newsletter feature. And that is a paid feature. And if you are part of Realty Executives Exceptional Realtors and you want to get this paid feature turned on, I'm happy to help. If you are from one of the other franchises under the Realty Executive Jersey umbrella, please contact your office manager and they can help you get that paid feature turned on. Okay. So let's click on add group to add my e-newsletter group. If I typed in the box right yet. Now I'm going to hit add. And my group has been created. Great. Now I got to put some contacts in the group, right? All right. So I have to go back to my contacts and I'm going to add some, I've got my three test subjects here. Now I'm going to add more than one person. I want to add number one, number two, number three. Now I did select more than one. So I can use the bulk action feature on the side here and add contacts to a group. I'm going to select my group. I'll hit the submit button. My contacts have it. I want to make sure. I'm a little paranoid. I want to make sure. Okay. I'm going to go back to my manage groups. And here's my line item for my e-newsletter group. And I want to view the contacts. Oh, <laughs> there they are. Lo and behold. So now that I have them there, I've start, started the paid feature of the e-newsletters and I have my contacts in the group. Um, now I want to go send out an email. Okay. But let's go through the free features first before we get to the paid ones. Okay. I'm going to go back to my CRM and I'm going to go to my free broadcasts. All broadcasts are free. You even have a template in here to uh, create a broadcast. Should you like that as a blank template as well? So you really can use this. Um, for uh, multiple emails that you want to send. If you want to send out your own e-newsletter, you don't want to use what's here. You want to make your own. You can certainly do that as well. So I'm going to hit on begin and I'm going to go through these four steps, simple four steps to send out my newsletter or, uh, or my free broadcast. And as I did say, there is a template, as you can see here, for a newsletter. So if it is something you'd like to write your own articles, you'd like to do your research for your own articles, you'd like to curate your own content, we have a blank newsletter template for you there. But again, as I said, we have a free broadcast here to send your announcement out to your sphere that you are with Realty Executives. We also have um, templates here for Just Sold, Open House, New Listing. 
I'm going to use the open house template to show you how this works. So when I want to use something and I just want to see what it looks like, I'm going to do full view. But if I actually know I want to use that template itself, I'm going to click on use this. So I'm going to type in my open house date. I'm going to type in my open house time. And I'm going to pick from my fake listings that I have here. We'll choose this one. And I hit my OK. Well, that was pretty easy. So now I'm going to read the instructions in the light blue box here. There I can make desired changes to the template. Then I choose my send option and I click the next step. That's right, there's a send option. What does that send option mean? Well, it's right here, so let's check this out. I can send it right now, but perhaps I'm time blocking. Today I'm time blocking uh, all of my emails and maybe this one's gonna go out next week, whatever. I can actually choose the send on and look at that. I can pick a date for next month if I want. So again, you can come in here and set up emails to go out for the next however many months, weeks, years you want and get your time blocking done, getting your emails together. Yeah, it's really that easy. But again, easy to edit this as well. So as it here uh, says here in the light blue box, dotted borders are not visible in an email but that's where you edit the section. So if I want to edit my open house, maybe I just wanted to say that. I don't need anything else in there. Okay. Open house. I want to type something else in the box. I can. See how easy it is to edit that. I want to, I don't know, take the easy, right? Set it up the way you want to set it up. Anything in a dotted border box, you can change. Though the elements that have a red border around them pull from the MLS. So you don't have to worry about typing that information in there or your photos becomes it comes right from the MLS. OK, yeah, if you only have one photo on the MLS, it's only going to pull one photo. So easy enough to fix that, though. So I want to change this one. I can click on it. And here are all the images that I get from the MLS. Now, if there's something else I want to add, I can certainly add it in right here. But if this is good enough, I have my listing images. I'm going to pick uh, maybe this one over here. And I choose my crop section just like you did for your profile photo. I'm going to choose my crop, crop and insert, give it a sec to load. Look at that. Simple, easy, done, right? So again, over here, you can add, subtract, add in whatever it is you want to do. You can put in pictures, you can put in links, you can put a different color, you can make it a different font, whatever you want. The one thing I caution you to not do this view listing details button, don't change that. Leave it, leave it alone. It's a good call to action, draws attention to where people can go to get more information on your listing. So it could go directly to your paid prime agent website as well, therefore capturing another lead. See how that works? Now down at the bottom, this is the reason why we came to our profile photo to connect our listings. All of my listings are here. Now I'm having an open house on the one on the bottom. So I really I don't want it in this list because I think it's redundant. So I'm going to click anywhere on this dotted section to add or update my listings. Cool. Here we go. Options. Select my top 20 automatically. I don't want any. I'm going to choose my listings. I want to choose my listings. I want this one and this one and this one. Now I can even select a photo that's pulled from the MLS whichever photo I want. I want to do this one, and I want to do this one, and I want to do this one. So I come down to the bottom here, click my OK, click my OK to update the order. Triple checking, making sure. Hey, hey, there we go, right? So I have my open house one up top here, and I have my featured properties are the ones that I want to be featured. I could have left it all the way alone the words the way that I wanted or whatever I want to do. Fully customizable, fully optional for you. Now, down at the bottom here, this is where I had said why we needed to update the My Profile. Because, as you can see, my profile photo is there. My direct phone number is there. My office phone number is there. But look at how they're both the same. That's why I said if you're going to use your office phone number and maybe have your extension there as your direct phone number, don't show the office phone number. See how it's redundant there like that? Yeah. I've got my email in there. I have a button for visit my website. I have my office address. I have my business 
social media links. And I did that all in my profile. Therefore, set it and forget going over my emails. So now I am ready to send out my email. So I've checked it all over. It all looks good. I can come down here for the next step and click the next step and go to send my email. Now, maybe I have a group that I want to send it to. I've got a group for my open house that I'd like to send to. I can. Maybe I just have a particular contact that I want to send it to. I can. You have options of what you want to choose. I'm going to select somewhere where I know it's going to go. But you're going to select real people. I am now going to go on to the next step. I got to give it a title. I don't know, whatever it is you want to title it. It also shows you your selected contacts. And I'm only sending it to one where I know it's going to go. But you will have uh, maybe multiple groups here, multiple people in this particular box down here of where you're sending this email off to. You can give it a final preview if you like. But if not, we're done. Moving on now to the paid features. There are the two paid features of email tools that we have here inside of your Prime Agent account. They are both located in the CRM menu under the campaigns feature. So again, we created that group for our e-newsletter. Your e-newsletter is a paid feature and you also have your campaigns, another paid feature as well. There are three steps when you are going through a campaign. But Bridget, there were four steps for a broadcast. Ah, let's see why. I'm going to click on begin to activate my campaign. So here we go. Here are my campaigns. My first time home buyer, new seller campaign, buyer campaign, purchase anniversary campaign, birthday campaign, uh, holiday campaign as well. Let's pause here for a second though. A birthday happens every year. The holidays happen once a year. But would a purchase anniversary happen every year? Would a buyer campaign happen every year? Think about it. A campaign is different than a broadcast. A broadcast is a one and done message. You're having the open house on one date. Yeah, maybe it's going to happen the next weekend after as well. But still, it's only on that particular date as opposed to a buyer campaign, which may happen over a shorter, smaller period of time. Once a week, once every two weeks, once a month instead of once a year. Right. So let's go here. I'm going to look at the full view of the new buyer campaign so we can see what this says here start of campaign is day one and this particular email is going to go out to your uh, home buyer group that you created right and this is the campaign email they will receive on day one that's what it looks like great okay cool look at that it even gives them a home buyer's guide to success talk about a lead capture feature all the information here just as it is at the bottom of your email uh your broadcast email as well so now here is number two and as you can see the send date says six days after start not one year but six days after start so that tells you that this is going to be going out one week later so let's keep scrolling so now number three email number three is 13 days after start that's two weeks later so there are eight emails as it shows me here in the upper right corner there are eight emails so this can tell me that one email will go out over eight weeks so campaigns are a little different than broadcast broadcast is a one and done feature a campaign drip campaign goes out over a shorter period of time cool all right i like this one i want to use this one i'm going to go back up to the top and go to the next step so now i am here to choose who i want to send it to perhaps i have that new buyer group that I made. Maybe I already know, well, anybody who's going to get the newsletter is in the same group anyway. Well, okay, it's there. I'm good. Maybe I only want to select one or two people now, and I'm going to come back and add more people later. You can do that too. As you saw in your contact there, you can add them to a group. So you can do that as well as you're going through. That's why I highly recommend using groups because you add somebody into the group and they'll receive the next one in line, whatever's going to happen next. So you're never going to get behind with, oh, uh, my campaign or e-newsletter and uh, they didn't get it this month. They're going to get the next month. They're going to get the next week, whatever it is in your campaign or, or that's going out. Make a group. Trust me. Okay, 
So again, I'm only selecting one person because I know where it's going to go. But still, you have options here for what you want to do. And now I'm going on to my next step. When I'm sending it, did you notice what we're missing? Did you happen to notice the step that we don't have? I hope I'm hearing marbles nodding around. Yes, you have minus don't have. It is taken out of the feature to edit. A campaign is set it and forget it. Everything is set up for you. There's nothing to edit. There's no pictures to move around. There's no text to put in or out. It's just set it and forget it. Great feature. So again, here we can still send, but notice it says start tomorrow or start on. A campaign you could never start the day of. It takes time to process in the system. So note to self, if you want to start a campaign on a Monday, you got to do it on a Sunday. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it to start tomorrow. I can give it a final preview if I want. If not, I'm off and running. Pretty easy, right? Even easier, the newsletter, which is again located in the CRM menu under the same place where I find my campaigns. So here is my e-newsletter option. It is there by its lonesome in the left-hand column menu. I'm going to click on the e-newsletter. Now, I am going to make sure I click to turn on. So if you have paid for this feature, you want to click to turn on. Then you can give it a preview. You can uh, add your recipients. You can even view your history if you're, you can't remember when it was sent out or you want to make sure that you sent it to the right person or how many people in that list that I sent it to actually had a valid email. You want to look in the newsletter history for all that good stuff. So I am first going to make sure that I update my recipients. I created that e-newsletter group. And again, I get more contacts. I get more leads. I'm just going to keep adding them to the group. They'll receive the next newsletter in line. They're never going to be uh, out of not receiving newsletter. Bad grammar. E-newsletter. OK. Done. All right, now, again, click to turn on and preview and edit the up. Oh. What do we have here? Well, it says it is scheduled to send the first Tuesday of the month and is available to preview one week before the scheduled send date. But the broadcast system contains a copy. So you can use the broadcast feature to send it out if you've missed the scheduled date. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a great thing. If I pay for this feature, if I miss something, I can go back and check it out. All right. So let's go back to my broadcasts. And again, I have to hit begin to start that process. But I will see now here down, I've got my camp, my campaigns are here too. Hey, look at that. And here is my e-newsletter campaign. So whatever one I've missed, you can even see here that I've got a couple other years, months available to myself. I'm just going to use this for now. But again, you can find the one that you've missed and click on the use this to get there. So again, I can edit whatever it is I like. If I don't like the way this title is, I can change it up. If I want to add something, I can do that. The cool thing is you can personalize a greeting every month. So I would leave alone the dear recipient first name is that will pull from the contact in your CRM. But you can add a personal greeting. If you don't add a personal greeting, nothing's going to appear. You can change anything you like. You don't like this photo, you want to change it? You can do that. You don't want this photo at all? You can take it out. So you can leave these articles as they are. You can change them out and add in your own as well. These are really great curatedly content, curated, curated content uh, that's already done, set it and forget it for you, made by executive for executives. So, you know, it's a really great touch point to send out to your sphere. But again, here you can uh, update your listings. You know what? That, that one just sold. I don't want to take it here. I want to choose my listings. It just went under contract. So we're just going to choose the listings that are still available. Again, I can choose a photo that is there as well. I'm going to update the order. I like how it triple checks just to make sure. Done. My information at the bottom is there because I set it up through 
my profile before I started the whole process. Housekeeping is always great to go through before you start anything. I can now click on the next step and send it out again. Now remember, I'm sending out this copy of the newsletter because I started paying for my uh, uh, newsletters uh, after the first Tuesday of the month, so it didn't happen. So I'm choosing to send it out now. I can use that e-newsletter group, or I can send it to a solo contact again, because I know where it's going. So I'm going to send it there. <laughs> my next step, I do have to give it a title, whatever you want that title to be. Again, it shows you the contacts as well. One more final preview if you'd like, or send it out. Easy. All this stuff is available to you and easy to go uh, into, easy to get to, easy to use. But of course, if you are having any troubles, I'm always happy to help you as well. So these are the email tools that we have available for you inside of your Prime Agent account to help you reach your sphere, touch points with your sphere, capture leads as well. Now, if you are from Realty Executive Exceptional Realtors and you'd like to get these paid features turned on, I can help you out. If you are from one of the other franchises under the Realty Executive Jersey umbrella, please reach out to your office manager and they can help you get these features turned on. That is my email. That is my phone number. If you want to go through any of these features at any time, if you need a little more walkthrough on how to, what to, any of those other wonderful things there, uh, I'm always happy to help. So, now. If you have any questions, I'm looking here in my chat box. Jose is going to Jose is going to look at the video recording. Yes, if you have registered for this, you will receive a recording of this webinar. Uh, it is also available to you on our YouTube channel as well. But if you have any other questions, that's my email. That's my phone number. I hope you learned a little bit more about the Prime Agent email tools. Thanks so much for joining. Until next time.